Having two sets of twins was always a big goal of mine in life, which is kind of a dumb goal because there's only so much you can do to bring that to fruition, but somehow I willed one set into existence. I had spontaneous twins in my first pregnancy. Before I even knew that I was carrying two, I was scouring the internet trying to find every little sign and symptom that could be an indicator of it being twins. With all that knowledge that I gained on twin pregnancy signs and symptoms, I thought I would share it with you guys today. Before we get into it, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. All right, let's get into the video. The first sign, which you can detect as early as five weeks, is elevated HCG levels. HCG is the hormone produced by the placenta after implantation, and when you are carrying multiples, you will have higher levels of HCG in your body. At-home pregnancy tests work by detecting this HCG hormone, and that little pink or blue line that pops up on your pregnancy test appears when enough HCG is detected on the test. Different pregnancy tests have different sensitivities and how much HCG needs to be detected in order to get that line to show up. But a sign that you could be pregnant with multiples would be if you take the test just a teeny bit early, like maybe a day early, and you still get that faint little pregnancy line. Or if you take the pregnancy test on time and the line pops up to say that you're pregnant before the waiting period is over. Another sign of elevated hormone levels is tied to the next symptom, which is excessive morning sickness. Now, you can have excessive morning sickness even when you're pregnant with one baby. There are things like hyperemesis that are medical conditions beyond morning sickness that can land you in the hospital. But overall, if you seem to have way worse morning sickness than what you're seeing your friends or family members that are pregnant experience, it could be a sign of twins. Severe fatigue is also a symptom. Elevated hormone levels in pregnancy can also cause severe fatigue. So if you are just beyond tired, more tired than what you see other pregnant women experiencing around you, it could also be a sign of multiples. Fatigue is very normal in general in pregnancy. It's oftentimes related to just the elevated hormone or progesterone levels in your body. But another thing that could potentially be causing fatigue that actually affected me in my pregnancy and I didn't realize that it was causing my issues until later on in my pregnancy, but I was actually anemic or iron deficient in my pregnancy. My body was creating so much blood to support the two fetuses and I had hadn't been taking in enough iron apparently, and that was, for me, driving a lot of my severe fatigue. Learn from my mistakes early on. If you're feeling super, super, super tired, like you can barely get out of bed, call your OB. They may give you a blood test to just make sure that you're not anemic, and if you are, they'll just suggest an iron supplement to help put iron back into your body. The next early sign that you could be having twins is just motherly intuition or really female intuition because I kind of feel like all of us women are a little bit psychic. I just had this feeling when I was pregnant in my first pregnancy, even though I had never been pregnant before and I didn't know what was normal for me or not normal for me, I just had this gut feeling that it was twins. Yes, I did also have a lot of the symptoms that would have pointed me to that direction too, but, I mean, when you know, you know, right? <laughs> I just had this indescribable gut feeling that it was multiples with my first pregnancy. And then with my second pregnancy, which did turn out to just be one baby, I can remember people asking me before my first ultrasound appointment, like, Oh my god, are you so nervous that it might be twins again? And I could honestly say no. Like, I just knew it was one baby. <laughs> I just knew it was one baby and it turned out to just be one baby. Now, if you're between weeks eight and 12 and still haven't had an ultrasound yet, here are some more symptoms that could be a sign of multiples a little bit later in the first trimester. First is the Doppler heartbeat count picks up more than one heartbeat. Now, this sounds like it should be a dead giveaway to twins, but it's actually not. What can happen sometimes with a Doppler is it picks up the heartbeat in the umbilical cord or it picks up the heartbeat from a different angle, kind of as an echo. So while hearing two heartbeats 
seems like it probably is twins it could actually just be a false alarm. The next is measuring large for gestational age or early weight gain. Measuring large for gestational age in the first trimester would really be showing it all. Most women in their first trimester, especially if it's their first pregnancy, won't show at all. But with a twin pregnancy, you may show as early as nine weeks. As for weight gain, twin pregnancies generally result in more weight gain during the overall pregnancy, and that weight gain early on could be your sign of twins. Next is feeling fetal movement early on. Most women won't feel fetal movement until week 18 if it's their first pregnancy, and if it's a subsequent pregnancy, they may feel it two, three weeks earlier. If you start to feel your baby or babies moving any earlier than that, it could be a sign of two. However, note that it's not uncommon for women to confuse early fetal movement and gas. If you're experiencing many of these symptoms early in pregnancy, another clue that it could help to look into would be to see if you're just at a higher likelihood of conceiving twins to begin with. I have a video that actually goes into more detail about the odds of conceiving twins that I will link down below, but just some high level signs and symptoms would be if twins run in your family, if you're over the age of 35, if you're taller, if you have a BMI of over 30. Some people just have a much higher likelihood of conceiving twins than others, so it's worth looking into if you fall into that bucket or not. If you liked this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos in the description box below. I'll soon be uploading a story time video on how I knew that I was pregnant with twins. And if you are currently pregnant, I also have some prepping for baby videos that are really helpful if you're a first time mom. See you in the next video. Bye.